Hi guys, today's video I am going to show you how to create custom snippets in VS Code Editor and you can do the faster coding. So lots of developer has requested to me how to create custom snippets and what is your custom snippets can you share with us. So let's do it. Okay, so let me go here to the VS Code Editor and you need to go to the settings and here you have a option called snippets if you click on it there is a lots of language so based on the language you can do for the blade file for the c language and for the php if you want for the specific uh, uh, language okay but i am going to do for global snippet so you can see new global snippet and you need to give the name so i will just say my snippets okay and hit enter you can see that there is a lots of instruction over here about the snippets and you can see that there is an example if you want to more instruction then you need to go here in uh, visual studio website and they already provide the information about custom snippets so let me go here and there is a already they given the example i will just uncomment it and you can see over here let's run it okay so first of all i will change the title this is the title I will just say console.log so for the example and scope that means you need to provide like uh, uh, which uh, language you want to use php javascript typescript so this is for javascript and typescript you want to do for all the language then you just need to remove this option okay but right now i am keep for javascript and type and prefix will be log and you can set up also multiple like this way if you just want to set l then you can do as well okay but right now i will just prefix log and then you can see that console.log and log output just see how it is running so let me go and go to my laravel projects and resource js and app there is a js file and i will just say log and you can see that console.log hit just enter you can see that there is a console.log has run properly okay now if i go here and you can see that i have just added dollar one that means my cursor is over there okay but i can also write uh, and uh, you can see like here and save it okay and just remove it and just add log and you can see that here okay same thing you can also do something like this way if i copy this okay and paste it and here i will just say here save it and now let me try with log and if i enter you can see that here is selected so i can directly write something like what i want to display in the log okay next what i'm going to do is in laravel if you need if you go here and go to the controller you always need to write function like this way if i say public function and like say index request object and dollar request and then you can see something like this way always you need to write so this is taking lots of time so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create a new snippet for that so just copy this and i would say laravel function okay and then i will choose the scope will be php because my file name is php so just say php and then func okay this is the my prefix and then what i will do copy this line and just paste it over here and then the second line will be curly bracket and third line will be t so that means slash t okay and then i will just say and curly bracket okay and save it okay and now let me go here and let's try with new prefix okay if i say func and hit enter you can see that there is a proper function but there is you can see that that's dollar is not coming because if i go here i need to do something like this so it's dollar variable sign will be coming over there so let me remove it again and if i say fun and hit enter you can see that there is a proper function so you don't have to write public function and the name of the method you can directly change it as well okay now i will show you what i have a configuration file and how i am working so let me go here and i already created github repository for it and you can see global snippet code and just go here and you just need to copy this and you have to go here i am just pasting for demo save it and i have created lots of snippets for tailwind css for bootstrap so let me go and just quickly show you for that okay for bootstrap i am going to show is go to the view and dashboard i am just removing and if i am going to use bootstrap from scratch bhtml 
and hit enter you can see over here if i want to use the card design then i will just say b card and you can see if i want to create the form then b form that means bootstrap form and hit enter you can see that same thing i can also like i have also defined like tw like table if you want to create the tile bind uh, css table then i can also create the table so don't i don't have to write every time so many classes and i don't have to remember that so save it so you can see that i have already created and shared the file in github so at the end i will say don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys